The following presentation shows that St. John Cassian condemns a position held by Robert Diamond. This position is also prominently held by the heretical sect of the Jehovah's Witnesses. Following, Robert Diamond will explain this position himself. Direction. Second, the objection is further flawed because we know for a fact that Jesus Christ himself did not go to heaven on the day of his crucifixion. Now, in his conferences, St. John Cassian condemns this position, adopting the words of Abbot Moses. First Conference, Chapter 14, on the Continuance of the Soul. At least we must avoid and shun with the utmost horror that wicked punctuation of the heretics, who, as they do not believe that Christ could be found in paradise on the same day on which he descended into hell, thus punctuate, Verily I say unto you today, and making a stop, apply, you shall be with me in paradise, in such a way that they imagine that this promise was not fulfilled at once after he departed from this life, but that it will be fulfilled after the resurrection. We know from the Apostles' Creed that on that day he was crucified, died, and was buried. He descendeth into hell. And so Jesus Christ descended into what is called the waiting place of the just of the Old Testament, Abraham's bosom. He did not go to heaven on that day. And we read in 1 Peter 3.18 and following that Jesus preached to those Old Testament just individuals who were in the waiting place of the just of the Old Testament, who were in Abraham's bosom. It wasn't until after his resurrection that Jesus himself ascended into heaven. This is proven by John 20.17. On the day of his resurrection, when Jesus was encountered by Mary in the garden, he said to her, quote, Do not touch me, for I have not yet ascended to my Father. End quote. And so after his resurrection, he still had not yet ascended to heaven. And we know from Colossians 1.18 that Jesus Christ is the firstborn from the dead who holds the primacy in all things. He holds the primacy in all things. He had to be the first one to ascend into heaven. So, it is a fact that Jesus and the good thief did not go to heaven on the day of his crucifixion, for Jesus himself did not ascend into heaven until after his resurrection. But there's another very interesting point to consider about this passage, Luke 23:43. The passage is usually rendered and understood in the following way. And Jesus said to him, Truly I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. However, the passage is not necessarily saying what most people think it is. There are no commas in the original Greek of this passage, and so the words without commas are like this. Jesus said to him, Truly I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. Now, most people have inserted the comma in this way. Jesus said to him, Truly I say to you, comma, Today you will be with me in paradise. But suppose the comma is moved after the word today. It reads like this. Jesus said to him, Truly I say to you today, comma, you will be with me in paradise. End quote. As we can see, it is clear that by simply moving the comma, one word, it drastically changes the meaning of the sentence. With the comma before the word today, it implies that he's telling the good thief that he will be with him in paradise today. But when the comma is moved after the word today, a man or truly I say to you today, comma, you will be with me in paradise, it implies that he's telling him today that at some point he will be with him in paradise. This can become very significant when we consider the patristic evidence for the resurrection of the Old Testament saints and how they were baptized. What is the true understanding of the passage? It's not necessarily clear, but since there are no commas in the original Greek, it could very well be understood in the latter sense. In other words, I say to you today, comma, you will be with me in paradise. 
for we know for a fact that they did not go to heaven on the day of his crucifixion that is proven by John 20:17 in conjunction with Colossians 1:18 and the fact that Jesus had to be the first to enter heaven and he did not even enter heaven and ascend into heaven until after his resurrection therefore if the passage is to be understood in the first sense today you will be with me in paradise then by paradise Jesus is referring to the limbo of the fathers the waiting place of the just of the Old Testament at least we must avoid and shun with the utmost horror that wicked punctuation of the heretics who as they do not believe that Christ could be found in paradise on the same day on which he descended into hell thus punctuate verily I say unto you today and making a stop apply you shall be with me in paradise in such a way that they imagine that this promise was not fulfilled at once after he departed from this life but that it will be fulfilled after the resurrection saint john cassian through the words of abbot moses who is probably saint moses the black commands to avoid and shun with the utmost horror this wicked position of the heretics this position held by robert diamond is therefore indefensible he should publicly retract this position i would like to stress that even if someone held 99 percent of the correct positions of the catholic church but obstinately to the end adhere to falsehood in the one remaining percent that person would nonetheless be damned the supporters of mhfm are co are damned because they are respecters of persons but the greater condemnation is on robert diamond because in this and other instances he deviates